Python allows you to define variables at different places in your code. In this example, A is a global variable and is accessible from within both functions. X is a local variable of the function first and is not accessible outside the function. Everything is an object in Python, including functions. You define a variable X, an object is created somewhere in the memory, and we will have label X as a handle to that object. We say the variable or name is bound to the object. You will understand scopes using this example. Here, we have A defined outside the function, and another variable prefix defined within the function. Also, inside the function, we print the value of both variables. The portion of the code where a variable is defined is called the lexical scope of the variable. Global scope is essentially the module scope, which means it spans a single file only. If you import another module, it will have its global scope. Each function has its local scope. Every time the function is called, a new scope is created. Certain Python objects like print function, none, true, false, are available everywhere in your program, and they are in the built-in scope. Variables or name bindings are stored in namespaces. Every scope has its namespace. Namespaces can be thought of as a table of labels to object references it is pointing to. Namespaces of global and local scopes are implemented using dictionaries. When our code is executed, the namespace of the global scope will have two entries, one for variable A and another for the function my underscore func. Values correspond to the memory address at which this integer object and function object are stored. Then, when my underscore func is called, a new scope is created for the function, and its namespace will have an entry for the string variable prefix. In the built-in scope, I will just show an entry for the print function, there are many others. Now, let's focus on the print statement within the function. The argument to the print is constructed by joining local variable prefix and global variable A. For name resolution, Python starts from the current scope and looks outward until it finds the first match. Here prefix is found in the local scope itself. Variable A is not found in the local namespace, so Python will look in the global namespace and it is available there. Next is the print function. Lookup happens just like others and it is available in the built-in scope. The important thing to understand here is that, because of the way this lookup works, if you define your function with the name print, it will mask the print function provided by Python, and the rest of your code will use this masked function. In the next example, I'm keeping the rest of the code same, and I'm trying to modify the global variable a from within the function. If you run this function, you get an exception stating, local variable referenced before assignment. Notice that the error is happening at our print statement. You may think that the print should have used the global variable a since we are only creating the local variable a after the print function. But this is not the case. Python determines at compile time, that is when it sees the def statement for the function, that the function my underscore func has a local variable a since you are assigning value to it in the body of the function. However, the value object, that is 35 here, is only created when the function is executed. Remember, a variable is only local if you assign them inside a function. If you only reference it, the variable should be available from an outer scope, usually from the global scope. So, when you call the function and execution reaches the print statement, the local namespace already has an A. However, nothing is assigned to it. This entry masks the A in the global namespace. Hope that that exception makes sense now. What if we wanted to modify the global variable from within the function? That's where the global keyword comes in. It tells Python that a variable is meant to be scoped in the global scope. Now, if you assign a new value to the global variable, the change will persist even when the function returns. In the next example, we are stating that the variable a is global and assigning a value to it. However, there is no variable a in the global scope. When the function is executed, a new entry is created in the global namespace for a. After the function is executed for the first time, this global variable will be available in the global namespace. However, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Creating a global variable in this way is considered bad code. In the next example, there is a global variable a and a local variable local var. Global namespace will have an entry for the address of a, but I will just put the actual value here. Also, the function takes an input parameter. They are part of that function's local namespace just like any other variable you create within the function. You can use the globals function to get a handle on the global namespace dictionary. Along with others, you will see entries for variable a and function my underscore func. You can access the value of the variable using its name as the key. Same applies to the function. To execute the function object, use parenthesis and pass the argument.
Similarly, you can use the locals function inside your function to get the dictionary that acts as its local namespace. Although local variables are determined at the time when Python sees the def statement, their values are only evaluated when you execute the function. The exception for this is if you define default values for parameters in the function signature. I had covered those details in another video explaining how variables work in Python. You can use the covarnams attribute to determine which all are local variables of your function. In the next example, you have a global variable and an outer function and then, there are a function with the name inner defined within the body of the outer function. Let's see how scopes will look here. I'm omitting the built-in scope. In the global namespace, there is an entry for variable A and another for outer function. Within the local namespace of outer, there will be entries for its local variable X and inner function, since the inner function is defined within the body of outer. When the inner function is executing, a new local scope is created for it, and it will have a separate namespace. Since we are assigning to a variable X within its body, the inner function's namespace will have an entry for X. So, the local variable X of the outer function will remain unchanged even after the inner function is executed. What if we wanted to modify X in the local namespace of the outer function from within the inner function? Let's see what will happen if we use the global keyword for this purpose. Global keyword says that we are accessing a variable directly in the global namespace. In this case, X doesn't exist in the global namespace. So, a new entry will be created. This is not what we wanted. For this use case, Python provides the keyword non-local. Using the non-local keyword, we explicitly tell Python that we are modifying a non-local variable. Now, the value of variable x in the outer function's namespace will be modified. In the next example, we have one more level of inner functions. Within the local scope of inner1, there is only one entry since we didn't define anything else inside its body except the inner2 function. Within the body of inner2, we explicitly say that variable a is non-local. So, Python will start looking in enclosing scopes, starting from that of inner1, until it finds the first one. It will only look up to the outermost function's local scope, it won't go to the global scope. Non-local means, not in the current function's local scope, and neither in the global scope. In our case, there is no A in any of the enclosing scopes. Thus, Python will show an error. What if we try to chain the name lookup to the global namespace? This example code is the same as the previous one, except within the outer function, we specify variable A is global. Lookup for non-local A will happen the same as the previous one, and it will fail in this case also. This means that such chaining to the global namespace is not possible. 